seeing the Laplace transform to solve this system of linear equation to apply the Laplace transform to both of these equations I have let me try if I can switch it into a little space here Yeah, we good. Now uh, again, apply the Laplace transform on the part uh, on the second equation. So for this one, uh, it's a little bit tricky. You cannot see it, but uh, just do it step by step. So what's the Laplace transform of t? It is uh, one over square right. But you have e to the negative t. That means you have a shift. And that shift is just one, so you have one over s minus one eventually in squared. Negative of the negative, which is positive. Right? Right? And now plug in the conditions. Y of x of zero equals zero. Y of zero equals zero. It doesn't eliminate much, which y do not expect. Okay, anyway. So I think for this one, I'm gonna <laughs> circle wrong word, wrong term. Take a look at capital Y of S is in fractal town. So I have three S plus three in parentheses. That's equal to negative S where X of X of S, X of zero equal to plus two. Okay, down here it doesn't matter which one you choose. So I pick this one. That's equal to 1 over s plus 1 squared minus s squared x of s plus 2. Okay? Now divide both sides by, uh, for the first equation. Get rid of everything and leave capital Y of s. So I have negative s cubed x of s over 3 times s plus 1. So I factor it down the 3 plus 2 over 3 s plus 1. Okay. For the bottom equation, divide both sides by 3. So I have 1 third over s plus 1 squared minus 1 third s squared x of s plus 2 third. Now, y of s equal to this and equal to this, so set these equations e equal to each other and solve for capital X of s. So, x of s is on both sides. Move it to one side and factor it out. So let's see. Uh, now before I do that, I just realized I made a mistake. So up here, for this one, so I have negative s squared over x divided by this one, right? But I wrote f negative s cubed. Or <laughs> just uh, multiply one more x. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. Right to this one. So move this to the left side, I have this one. Okay, equals. Just rewrite this. And move this to the right side. Right, and minus. 2 over 3 s plus 1. Now, the LCD is 3 times s plus 1, okay? So multiply by that LCD. I have s squared times s plus 1 minus s squared equals 1 over s plus 1 plus 2 s plus 1 minus 2, okay? Let's see if I do it correctly. Think so. 
so multiply this out I have s cubed plus s squared minus s squared is gone left with s cubed divide both sides by s cubed Okay, now let's see what I can do from here. Oh, I see. So if you split this out, you are going to have 2s over s cubed plus 2 over s cubed minus 2 over s cubed. So that's gone and you left with, we write this, uh, 2 over s square, okay? So if you, if you multiply this out, you will have 2s over s cubed plus 2 over s cubed. This can solve with this. s over s cubed as well, okay? Oh, my bad. Did not see it. Okay, let me explain it again. So I just rewrote this one, and for this one, I multiplied it out. So 2s over s cubed plus 2 over s cubed, 2 over s cubed minus 2 over s cubed, 0, s over s cubed, 2 over s squared. Right? Now for this one, uh, use partial fraction decomposition method to get smaller fractions. So because this is a, a symbol, I'm not going to go over it because I know you ha know how to do it. So I'm not going to spend time on this one. But I will go over it and show all of my work here so that you won't get lost. Alright, so we know all the values now, plug them back here. Uh, yeah, it's okay, use this color. Now so let's equal to A, B, 0, so if it's gone, C, C is 1 over S cubed, plus D, 1 over S plus 1, plus 2 over S squared. Okay, uh, apply the inverse on both sides, I have X of T equals this one, 2 factorial on top, 2 factorial on, on the bottom. That gives me 1 half t squared. Uh, plus e to the negative t. Plus, let's see what, what do we have this one. Uh, this one gives me 2. Let me see if I did something wrong because I... I think it should get a uh, 1 instead of 2. Oh uh, yeah, I think I figured it out. So over here, 1 equals negative d, so d has to be negative 1. S, take a look at the leading coefficient of s cubed. I have a, and over here I have d, so a plus d. d equals negative 1, so a has to be 1. So since a 1, then b has to be negative 1. Okay, that's fixed the problem. Oh, okay, so I'm adding something here. So a over a is 1 over s, so I have plus 1 over s. That gives me t. Okay. a, b, b, uh, 1 over b is negative 1, so negative 1 over s squared. Plus your s where then one over s where so it actually it's just to one t okay one t and that is one oh bad bad so one over s is the last one from is just one and then a b c over s cubed so c is still one d negative so you got a negative here now let me just rewrite it. So I have this one is an equation for x of t. Right now we're gonna do go back to here to do solve for y of s. 
okay? So, uh, let's see uh, which one should I plug in. Uh, I think I'm going to use this one. Let me call this one 1. Okay. From 1. From 1 I have capital Y of S equals uh, negative S square over 3 S plus 1 times X of S and X of S is equals to this one okay and then plus 2 third S plus 1 right I move that over there for now I distribute this out S square over S Q negative 1 uh, negative 1 over S negative 1 over 3 S times S plus 1 squared uh, minus 2 third S plus 1 plus 2 third over S plus 1 these are gone alright again use the partial fraction uh, yeah your partial fraction decomposition method So I have A over S plus B S plus, uh, plus B over S plus 1 plus C over S plus 1 squared. Uh, multiply both sides by the LCD and the LCD is everything on the numerator on the denominator here. So I have negative 1, negative 1 third. So just uh, multiply by this LCD, okay? Equals A times S plus 1 square plus B S S plus 1 plus C S. Alright, let us approach negative 1. I have negative 1 third equals negative C. Then C equals 1 third. Let S approach 0. Negative 1 third equals 0, 0. Okay? Okay, now uh, take a look at the leading coefficient of s squared. Zero equals a plus b. A is one third, negative one third, so b has to be positive one third, right? So capital Y of s equals a negative one third over s plus b one third over s plus one c one third over s plus one squared. Apply the inverse on both sides. I have negative one third plus one third e to the negative t plus one third uh, e to the negative t times t okay so this is what your y of t and this is your x of t if you find the video is helpful feel free to give it a like share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything i'll see you next time